Welcome, welcome, everybody. This is uh, Prince Patridge. Thank you for tuning in to the first um, episode of um, my sort of talk ho or talk show, if you will. Um, you know, I kind of got something within me today while I was at work. Told me, you know, hey, this would be a great way to give people value, <clears throat> pour value into people's lives by teaching them wealth concepts how to build money in the bank, how to save money, how to manage your money properly. Um, you know, we'll be talking about things such as mindset, belief, focus, um, stuff like tax returns, business opportunities, products, how to make money, um, anything and everything related to money. Um, you know, it, this, this talk show will be about, mainly about how to build wealth. Um, now who am I and why should you listen to me? Uh, my name is Prince Patridge. Um, I'm based out here in <clears throat> Dallas, Texas. I, um, you know, some of the things that you could highlight in my career is I've been in sales all my life. I've done nothing else but sales. Um, and um, quite frankly, to be honest with you guys, I'm financially free. Um, the type of lifestyle that I live today is actually amazing. Um, and I'm not saying this to brag, but <clears throat> you know, I go into the shops and or to the mall, and you know, I could buy pretty much anything I want to. Um, I wake up every morning, and my bank account is pretty filled up. You know, um, again, like I said, I'm not saying this to brag, but just you know, just a little bit of credentials there. Um, you know, I'm a damn good salesman. <clears throat> I love being a salesman. I take pride in that. Um, Really, mainly the reason why I made this talk show is to add value to people's lives. Um, you know, no matter where you're at in the world, what, what, whatever time you're tuning in, if if you want, if you're tuning in right now, I just want to appreciate you, um, and you know, let you know that you too can accomplish whatever it is you're doing. Um, <clears throat> and you know, no matter how hard it is and whatever you're going through, I promise you, um, you can accomplish wealth at levels that you wouldn't believe. Um, you know, so I'm not really going to go too much into an introduction because um, what I will say is in the near future, I'll probably create a blog and I'll probably be able to write a little bit or create a intro video, perhaps, if you will, <clears throat> about you know me and full history you know I really kinda wanna get into a lesson right now um, but anyways um, as you're gonna see you are gonna see um, the Empire group as a picture on the background um, the Empire is actually my corporation something that I started two years ago <clears throat> um, the Empire group is my fraternity as well that we started in 2013 um, it's just a group of guys that gather together and share knowledge and <clears throat> you know just really share ideas and everything um we meet about twice a month um every month excellent group of guys really sharp guys um in that group and you know we just really sit down and create wealth the ideas that we create the visions that we create the the energy that we create is something surreal that it's just amazing i really can't explain it to you guys um but the mastermind is there <clears throat> i created this group with the vision of attracting like-minded people who have the same vision as i did the same vision that i still do um it's really small right now you know which is fine uh, each each individual in that group has a high net worth in his own right whether it be finances knowledge Spe you know a, a special skill set everyone has something to contribute to the table and <clears throat> I just want to encourage you guys that if you um, are not in a mastermind group towards something that you want to achieve I encourage you <clears throat> to join one um, but anyways the first thing that I wanted to talk about today guys is really who do you listen to um, you know a lot of people <clears throat> come up to me um, and they're like hey Prince you know what what is the one 
what is your one secret to making money or what is your one secret to being successful now now that I look at it guys um, I first of all I want to say hey you know I really have not accomplished that much <clears throat> there are guys way younger than me who are already cabillionaires and you know um, own a lot of assets nice things I'd like to have um, I'm not there yet but what I will say is that the wealth principles that I have been taught and have studied for years is something it's solid foundation that I have and I believe everyone should have so <clears throat> the first thing that I want to talk to you guys is about who do you listen to um, you know who who in your life has influence you know um, who is it in your life that if they say something you follow it now <clears throat> you know this is a big challenge for most because I mean you know most people aren't really aware of it but you're listening to people who have negative things to say and no matter how strong you think your mindset is it has effect on your life if you if you don't if you guys don't believe me words are things Thoughts are things, okay? They're not just figments of your imagination. Thoughts are real things. And they can manifest in your life if you don't watch what you're saying, okay? Um, now, you don't have to be rich to, to figure this out or wealthy. But have you ever noticed that people hang out with like-minded people? For example, stoners will always hang out with stoners, celebrities will always hang out with celebrities, rich people will always hang out with rich people, and so on and so forth. You can find a niche um, of people who hang out together everywhere. And it's not on accident. It's because they all revolve around the same topic. They all listen to the same thing. They're all influenced by whatever it is that has a hold on their life and I just want to say um, if you guys aren't listening and like I said this YouTube channel is mainly about building wealth um, opportunities out there that you can capitalize on to make more money and to manifest in your finances and how you can change your life but <clears throat> if you guys are listening to people out there who are poor and broke and there's nothing wrong with that you know um, but it's true. A lot of poor and broke people are giving out advice like they know what they're talking about. You know, um, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't really share to people how much I make, what the money I make is. And, you know, I, I don't go out there and toot my own horn. But, you know, I, I listen to people. I listen to all sorts of people. And it amazes me that broke people are trying to teach others how to be rich. That doesn't make sense. Okay, and I'll give you another example. <clears throat> if you really want to get a six-pack abs, would it not make sense to listen to a guy who actually has six-pack abs? I mean, why would you listen to, and I see this all the time too, um, you know, I see, when I, every time I go to the gym, I see, I see personal trainers training their people, training their clients how to get six-pack abs. I mean, you look at the trainer, and you can just tell he's not in tip-top shape for six-pack abs. You could kind of see through his shirt. You can kind of see his pudge, if you so will. Um, but would it make sense? I mean, would you really listen to a guy who has no six-pack? No. Why? Because he doesn't have a six-pack. He hasn't achieved a six-pack. Why would you want to learn how to get a six-pack from a guy who doesn't have one? Okay? Another example. Um, you know, if... if um, and this is an actual, this is a real problem I had, um, you know, uh, how to, how to, how to speak to women, how to pick up women, women, how to get a girlfriend. Um, I'm using this as an example because this is something that I actually had and I actually sought out help. I listened to someone who I saw was getting all the girls and I was like, Hey, I want that to be me. Why can't that be me? Um, you know, I, I went to his house every day, you know, I sat there, I listened to him. I was his student. And a couple of years later, I have a beautiful girlfriend, you know, it's just something, it's just common sense. So next thing, 
if you want to learn how to become rich, why would you listen to your family, friends, or someone who's broke? Okay? Now, the rich people have always known this for a long time. They congregate within their own social status for a reason, because it maintains the wealth. Just being in the presence of a wealthy person is enough to get you motivated. You can just tell you there's just a different sense how that person thinks. I'll be honest with you guys, when I go to the mastermind meetings and my meetings, we don't even talk about how to make money. You know, we're 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 talking about thoughts and 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 creativity and energy and being being able to move things with a thought and how to create and manifest this and this in your life. It's really impressive. But you know, um a couple business lessons out there is um you know, you'll in five years you'll be the you'll earn the average income of your five best friends. And you know, some of you may be thinking for a long time now, man, I need to get some new friends. It's true. Guys, um, I'll be honest with you, I still do have broke people friends. Um I started broke when I was trying to build wealth and assets and things that would generate me income in my sleep. I started off broke and I started off with the same vision as many other of my friends did have. There was about five or six of us guys. I'll be honest with you, it's only me and one other guy and he's the co-founder in my fraternity. Okay, I th through this journey, through this two or three year journey, when I wanted to take my fan fan finances to another level, when I wanted to take my lifestyle to another level I got together with a group of guys I was like hey this is my vision this is what I want to achieve are you in or not all of them said yes and two out of five or seven of them have only made it me and the co-founder and have I stopped chilling with those guys I'll be honest with you yes in a sense I have not completely cut them off that's just wrong why would you do a friendship for money why would you do a friendship for just you know connections it doesn't work like that a friend is a friend no matter what I have broke people friends that I've known since high school we you know we all you know we just all sort of hung out and did things together you know do I ditch them no but <clears throat> I just choose to spend a little bit less time with those guys and you know, it's, it's really sad, it's unfortunate because many of those guys come back to me and they're like, dude, two years ago, you know, I really wish I would have taken action with you when you said you were going to do this, this, and this because now I'm behind and I don't have any finances, I'm stressed and I don't know how I'm going to get money and all this other stuff. But to be quite honest with you, you know, you can't help a person who doesn't want to be helped. You can tell them, hey, man, I want you to have this, this, and this in your life, and I want you to come up with me and be this, this, and this, but if they're not willing to take the action themselves, they can talk all they want, but hey, at the end of the day, it's all about who took action and where you ended up. Nothing else. So think about this. Who do you listen to? Who do you listen to now? And some of you may not notice this. You may listen to your pastor at church, your school teacher, your boss. I mean, who are you guys listening to? Um, you know, another another tip that I discovered for myself when I was wealth, wealth building in the beginning was I'd never share my ideas or dreams with anyone, except for maybe one or two people. I was never one to share my dreams, thoughts, or actions. Why? Because you got a lot of uh, haters out there. You got a lot of people out there who are trying to shoot your dreams down and try and say, hey, that's not possible. You can't do that. You can't do this. You know, you got a lot of people out there trying to trying to tell you what you can't do. You know, when someone tries to rise to the top, there will always be try someone trying to pull you down. That's just that's just how it is. That's just human nature. You know, humans are designed to you know be in a zone of comfort, be be in a place where where they don't have to move where, you know, if, if there's movement, if there's a change. No, 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 we don't want to change. We want to stay the same because it's comfortable in human nature. So, you know, 
when I was 15, I immediately did, I immediately tuned into this. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't tell all of my family my dreams. I don't tell them what I'm trying to accomplish. I don't tell them what I want to do with my life. Why? Because my dad right now, he wants me to go to college. He supports the college dogma all the time, asking me, hey, man, how's school? He doesn't even know I sell cars. You know, I'm just being real with you because I don't know what to say. I'm just like, you know, and every time I tell him, hey, man, look, you know, in about 40 or 50 or so years, you know, people might not have Social Security. You know, the 401k is a myth. You know, it's not. And that will be a, a video for another, you know, a topic um, for another video. But the 401k is just not something that you want to rely on. You know, I was having this conversation with my boss the other day. He was telling me how to get wealthy. And he told me the way he did it was through stock markets and the 401k. And the myth and the fault that I found with the 401k is, he said every seven years, the money compounds in interest and it doubles. So for example, today, if you put $10,000 in the 401k, about seven years, it's gonna be 20 grand. Seven more years, 40 grand. Seven more years, 80 grand. Seven more years, I think 160 grand. And so on and so forth. But how many times will you see a seven year compound in your life? Maybe like three times, that's 21 whole years. You know, how long do you have to live? The average human being only lives to be about 80 years old. Did you know that the average human being only has about, um, what was it? It's a really interesting fact that I read from a, a pickup artist book. I think it was like 4,800 days to live or 2,800 days to live or something like that, but it was in the four figures. It was in the low four figures. I know it was below six and I know it was below five for sure, but it was in the low four figures. And that number only got you up to about 70 years old. We're not even talking about 80 years old. So why, why would so many people trust the 401k? Why would so many people count on that seven year doubling amount? Now, not to say that the 401k is bad. I mean, if you have one, that's fine, but you really do need to start looking for other ways of income to increase your income, okay? Um, another fault with the 401k is, um, I mean, guys, when you take the money out, 40% of it is tax. Example, if you have 100 grand in your 401k, you decide to take it out today, the government is going to keep 40% of it, you know? You know, I mean, there's just, you know, there's just a lot of faults and everything with it. But anyways, back to the subject. I mean, yeah, who do you listen to? Um, you know, if you want to learn how to be a master chef, you can't listen to the guy who's cooking eggs at IHOP. There's nothing wrong with that job. But I'm just saying, it takes a different mindset. It takes a mindset shift to get you from where you want to be now to where you want to be later in the future. It takes a different it takes a different type of thinking. You can't be thinking the same thoughts. You can't be thinking the same things. You got to think different. You got to elevate your thinking to a level that just so far supersedes anything that you've ever thought. I mean, you just can't if you just can't afford to think the same way. You know, when I wanted to see my first five figures of liquid cash in the bank, I wasn't thinking the same way I thought when I wanted to see a thousand dollars in the bank. Never thought that way. It takes a different mindset, guys. It takes it takes discipline. It takes focus. You know. I mean, like I said, I mean, if you you know if you really want to learn how to be wealthy, you better start listening to people who are wealthy. Um, some of my favorite authors to listen to is Kevin Trudeau. Love that guy. I got all his CDs, all his books, everything. Love that guy. Um, I listen to an internet marketer. His name is Stuart Ross. Mm -hmm. That's Stuart Ross. Um, let's see. I listen to... Who have I done? Uh, Grant Cardone is a good one. Uh, sales motivator. Um, I listen to a lot of different pickup artists. There's a popular one. His name is Mystery. Um, and it's interesting because the the way the mis the pickup artist thinks applies to real life on how to get women. It's really interesting. I suggest that you guys go pick up a couple of pickup artist books and get a mindset. Um, my main one is Mystery. Um, I listen to um, 
Let's see. Timothy Ferris is pretty good. The four hour work week. Robert Kiyosaki. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Napoleon Hill. Think and Grow Rich. Just a couple of ones that I listen to. Um, just one of my favorite authors of people who have what I want, guys. The reason why I got to where I am today is because I listened to the right people, okay? It wasn't because, and, you know, people are so afraid to admit that. They don't want to, they admit, you know, they don't want to admit that they're wrong, guys. I tell you what, if you admit that you're right your whole entire life, you're going to stay broke forever. If you think you know everything, you're going to stay broke. Every time I go in and learn something from someone that I want to learn, for example, um, when my boss was teaching me about the stock market the other day, I knew what penny stocks were, I knew what day trading was, but I pretended like I didn't know. Why? Because he wanted to teach me more. He wanted to give me more knowledge. That's how he became a millionaire, off of the stock market. That's exactly how he became a millionaire, off of the stock market. So why wouldn't you want that knowledge? Of course, yeah, sure, it was a super long-term investment strategy, but that doesn't mean I can't add that to my portfolio. Um, you know, lo being long-term is something that I don't, um, <clears throat> you know, want to do, but it is what it is. That's how we got him. That's how we became a millionaire in liquid cash, not assets, liquid cash. It's probably a multimillionaire because of his assets, but so, you know, uh, just to close this first show here, um, think about it. Who do you listen to? Who in your life has the most influence? Is it the Bible, the Quran, the Torah? I mean, think about it. Who do you listen to? You know, if you're listening to people who don't have a positive impact on your life or aren't really helping you to where you want to go, you need some new friends. You need to listen to new people. You need to, you need to get out there and you need to, you need to find someone that you can listen to. You know, find someone, find someone who, who has what you want. And I'm not talking about a guy who, who claims to have this and this. I'm talking about a guy that you know who has results, that you know has what you want, that you see it. You see it manifested in this guy's life. Hang out with that person. See if he really if he's really about that life. See if he really has what you want. And that's who you want to model yourself after. Um, but yeah, you know, that pretty much concludes today's talk show. Um, some things I want to make note of is uh, connect with me on social media, guys. Um, I'll go ahead. I'll list the links out below. I uh, really use Instagram and Snapchat. I don't really mess with Facebook a lot. I, I mean, I have one. I have a couple of them. I have a, I have. You know, it's crazy too. I have a, um, a, a two accounts for everything on Instagram. Actually, I have three accounts on Instagram. I have the fraternity page, the Empire Group. I'll list that out. Snapchat, or sorry. The personal page for family and friends and the business page same for Facebook it's really business and personal um, but connect with me on social media get in contact with me and um, subscribe to my list as well my mailing list um, you know you're gonna find the link below uh, just sub subscribe to my mailing list guys you know get LinkedIn get tuned in see how I'm making money online you know now you know I will say I do promote stuff on my list. I will promote stuff on this talk show. Um, and, you know, if you have a problem with that, then you shouldn't be listening. I'm not, I don't do it because I need money. Trust me, I don't need your money. You know, I'm doing this because I believe that these talk shows that I'm creating will have a value and an impact on someone's life. Someone could use these talk shows. Someone out there needs to listen to what I have to say. You know, I'm doing this to add value to... You know, people's lives, making it better. Nothing makes me feel more better than someone who comes up to me, and it happens. Someone who comes up to me and say, hey, you know, because of your techniques, man, I have manifested this, this, and this in your life. I've had people who come up to me and ask me, how do I be rich? How do I get like you? How do I get this money? And, um, you know, like I said, guys, we're going to be talking about multiple things. We're going to be talking about wealth creation, um, mindset, beliefs. You know how you should be going about your daily lives and how to get more money how to make money and everything like that um but on the next show um we'll probably be talking about i don't know yet but anyways um like i said guys so check out the box below you definitely want to subscribe to this youtube channel as well subscribe subscribe um check out my mailing list subscribe to that and i'll give you the links for social media 
But uh, all right, guys, thanks for tuning in to today's first episode. I really appreciate about 25 minutes of your time. Um, like I said, think about it. Who do you listen to?